Hi, I'm Colonel Charlie Hobaugh, sometimes known as Scorch of the STS-129 crew, and you're watching NASA TV. From Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus three hours and holding. We are now in the final five hours of the countdown for the launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis on mission STS 129. The countdown is being controlled from firing room four at the Launch Control Center, and we are on schedule for a liftoff targeted for 2.28 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the 129th launch of the Space Shuttle program, the 31st launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis, and the 31st visit to the International Space Station. This is an 11-day mission that includes three six-and-a-half-hour EVAs, or spacewalks. Landing is currently planned for the day after Thanksgiving on November 27th at 9.43 a.m. And we see our commander, Charlie Hobaugh, an astronaut since 1996 and a veteran of two space shuttle flights, STS-104 and STS-118. And pilot Butch Wilmore, he's making his first flight. He's served here at uh, Kennedy Space Center on the astronaut support team at KSC in launch and landing operations. He was selected as an astronaut in 2000. And mission specialist Mike Foreman, veteran of STS-123 in March 2008. He has 378 hours in space, including over 19 hours of EVA time in three spacewalks. And Dr. Robert Satcher, Bobby Satcher, selected as an astronaut in 2006. He's now making his first flight on the space shuttle. And yes, Fisher and Specialist Randy Bresnick making his first flight and also serving as an EVA crew member on mission STS-129. And Leland Melvin, having flown on STS-122 in 2008, and he has logged over 306 hours in space. Here are our six astronauts. We're stopping for a brief moment to look up at Space Shuttle Atlantis. is actually looking all the way from a camera on the roof of the vehicle assembly building. And they are now at the orbiter access arm.
And uh, we can see uh, Charlie Hobaugh coming in now. This is Charlie Hobaugh, also known as Scorch, a uh, Marine colonel, who's the uh, commander of this mission. He's uh, helped get suited up here by um, Travis Thompson, who's number four on the closeout crew. Travis is a longtime closeout crew member. He's been doing it for over half the shuttle flights, and he's helping uh, Charlie get, get his uh, harness on before he goes in. And there he's being helped into his seat. Is this the one that's gone? Yeah, we can see here, as I talked about, uh, you can see that there's both guys in there happen. That's Joe Acaba has, uh, has his hand on his head there, and that's the astronaut that's in there. You can kind of see Drew's leg on the bottom there. He's going to get up here and start helping Scorch uh, get everything all settled. And Joe's job at this point is essentially to help Drew. Drew is the suit insertion tech, is responsible for getting uh, Charlie all strapped in and all set up correctly. And Joe essentially is helping him. You'll see him handing the parachute straps and the comm gear, uh, help with the helmet. Uh, you saw him protecting Scorch's head as he got into his seat to make sure that we don't injure a crew member. So it's a very difficult process with these bulky suits to actually get on board and get in the right place. And so it really helps to have two folks. Yeah, let's see who we got uh here now getting ready to board Atlantis. Okay, we've got a couple of them lined up. Closer to the hatch there is Mike Foreman, and he's going to be the first guy into the mid-deck. We kind of do a flight deck, mid-deck, flight deck, mid-deck as we go through uh, because, obviously, it's, it's very difficult to get more than one person strapped in at a time. So you can see George Brittingham is number seven there. He's the insertion tech for the mid-deck. He's doing final checks on Mike, and Mike's going to be the first one onto the mid-deck. And you can kind of do the mid-deck in any order you want from the outside, either um, to the right mid-deck or left mid-deck first. The center seat has to go last because you have to go over the center seat. Mission, uh, it's the mission specialist number six seat to get anybody on. Now, in this case, there's only six people uh, because they're actually picking up their seventh crew member on board the International Space Station. So Mike's seat is actually the left seat on the mid-deck, and he has to go over the right seat on the mid-deck to get up there. So that's why he's going into the mid-deck first. Um, so you can see him saying goodbye to Travis, waving to everybody, and uh, getting handshakes from Jack Burrett and everyone else on the closeout crew before he goes on board. Okay, we're back on board the flight deck now, and you can actually see uh, Butch Wilmer getting in his seat. You can see it's a pretty involved process, getting your legs down in there with the big uh, orange suit on, the uh, launch and entry seat. So you can see him getting down in position there. Once again, we've got Joe standing on the floor behind him. He's going to help get him in, as well as uh, Drew. We'll be standing on the mission specialist number two seat to help him get all connected up. So it's very important. You can see Butch here trying to push himself as far down in the seat as possible. That's uh, very necessary to get the parachute on right and everything like that. And it's hard to push yourself into your seat because you're in the vertical. So... Getting yourself down against the seat pan uh, is a very important thing, and you can see it's a little bit of a struggle. Go ahead. We have flashback to the uh, white room here. You can see Leland Melvin, uh, who's going to go into uh, the number six seat, uh, the second one downstairs on the right. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Bobby is going to the second seat on the right downstairs. Leland came in. He's going to go on the rightmost seat on the flight deck. He's uh, mission specialist number one going uphill. So he's actually uh, going to go there. Once they're done with Butch and they're no longer standing on those seats, we'll get him across the mission specialist number two seat into mission specialist number one seat. Okay, so now we have Bobby Satcher going into the mid-deck. That means Mike Foreman's uh, strapping is complete. It's a little bit easier on the mid-deck today, only having two crew members. Uh, so it takes a little bit less time. you got more room to maneuver down there because there's only two seats. So that goes pretty smoothly on days like this. The third seat coming home is going to be uh, filled by Nicole Stott, who's really the first member of STS-129. She launched on STS-128 back in August, and she's been on board the International Space Station now for a couple months. And she'll be the seventh crew member coming home. Great view of the white room here. The uh, final crew member that goes on, it's always mission specialist number two. They're always the last person on board. They've got that center seat on the flight deck is uh, uh, Randy Brezhnik, and this is Randy's uh, first flight. He's a rookie on this flight. He's doing a couple of spacewalks. He's also the intravehicular crew member on one of the spacewalks and doing some robotics work. So this is his first trip into space. Nice shot of Randy going on here, and you can see why he's the last crew member in. His, uh, his seat was Grand Central Station for getting the other three in on the flight deck, so um, that's why he's the last crew member in. And uh, right dead center uh, down the middle, he's the flight engineer that uh, will help out the commander and the pilot um, uh, as they go uh, launch into space and also back on entry. And he's kind of the guy uh, keeping track of a lot of the checklists and things like that. So, so um, he'll be a uh, flight engineer for both uh, launch and landing? For both launch and landing, yes. Attention on the net. This is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All stations verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC. OTC is go. TBC. TBC is go. PTC. PTC is go. LPS. LPS is go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Mila. Mila is go. 
STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety console is go. SPE. ST is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have range clear to launch. And CDR. The crew of Atlantis is go. Copy, thank you. And launch director, NTD. Launch director. Our launch team is ready to proceed. Okay, copy that, Steve. Thank you. I'll do my poll at this time. KC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. Payload Launch Manager. Mike, the ISS Ground Processing Team is ready to go. Okay, thanks, Bill. Appreciate that. KC Safety Mission Assurance. KC Safety Mission Assurance will go, Mike. Thank you, Mark. Range weather. Weather is green on all constraints. Winds are from 335 degrees, 18, 18 to 25. Okay, thank you, Kathy. And Ops Manager. See, Mike, uh, MMT doesn't have any issues that we're tracking. Looks like a good day. You are go to launch Atlantis. Okay, copy that. 